Hello Snakes and Ladders fans, I'm Kevin Arepa and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. When law enforcement or investigators come across an IP address uh, that's been involved in some kind of an activity and they need to determine who was using the computer attached to that IP address, uh, in the legal process they'll create something called uh, information to obtain or an affidavit in support of, a warrant, or a document uh, in a subpoena that will go in front of the judge, explaining to the judge why the evidence they seek is going to be in the place they uh, they want to search. And so then the judge looks at that information and decides based on what they're explained whether to grant that document or not. So when uh, an investigator puts in that document, we trace this IP address to a computer at this address. Liar, liar, pants on fire. No, you didn't. Because the computer at that address did not have that IP address. The computer had an internally assigned IP address from the router. And if there was 10 computers connected to that router at that residence, all of them will look to all the world like they were using that outward facing public IP address. So we got to do better than that. We don't just say we trace it to a computer because we think that that looks better and that's going to up our chances of getting the warrant granted or the subpoena. How about we be a little more truthful? How about we say we trace this IP address to a device at this address at this date and time? Now, I know there's people in the back saying, hey, Kevin, whoa, 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 you know what the definition of a computer is in the criminal code? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm well aware. Any device that holds electronic data. But that's foolish. That's like saying, uh, calling every single thing that's ever been built a structure. We get more specific than that. I don't go to a computer store and say, hey, I want to buy a computer, so you take me to the router aisle. We can do better. So how about instead of saying a computer because you think that will get you Further, how about we say a device, be honest, because in a normal home network, we've got a modem and we've got a router, sometimes the same device. These will have the outward facing IP address and everything connected behind it is going to use that public IP address to access the internet. So here we can see we've got a couple of wireless devices, we've got a wired device, but we've got this other device way over here, this wireless device. Who is it? We don't know. Could be the neighbor upstairs. It could be somebody sitting on the street. We don't know. And so if somebody kicks your door in and accuses you of doing something that you didn't do, how are you going to defend yourself? You hope that they get it right, that they do everything they can do to be sure they've got the right place before they get there. Doesn't mean bad things don't happen, but we can certainly minimize that. I've done two cases in my career where exactly that happened. The accused was not the guilty person and it was somebody poaching Wi-Fi. We can do better. Anybody that says, oh yeah, but if you secure your Wi-Fi, really? Air crack. That's all I've got to say. Google it. And in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.